Hi, 8th graders. This is Klonecki here. This tutorial is to um, show you how to make abstract art using a computer um, art program. Your job is to create three uh, paintings uh, that explore non-representational art, which basically means art that doesn't have a concept um, attached to it. You're just basically exploring the elements of design, like um, value, lines and shapes, um, textures, patterns, things like that. You can also attach an idea to a work of art, because remember, abstract is two things. It can represent nothing, really, or it can represent something as long as it's not realistic. So right now, I could actually name this Mrs. Glenecki's Garden, and then we would assume that these little swatches of color are flowers, or maybe these big swooshes of color are petals to a flower. Again, abstract does not look realistic. So if you're going to make three illustrations, it would be nice if you at least made one that had a semi-understandable concept with it. The last page in your assignment this week is going to look like this. You're going to insert three illustrations within these boxes and then write a short little critique. And when, um, it's just like three or four sentences explaining um, what you felt about this project and your artwork. At the top, there's a link called Paint Program. It'll bring you right to the internet. And the program is called Paint Editor. It's a really, really basic program. Um, that's why you got commercials and ads, so get rid of those. And you can see that um, what I was working on before is still showing. So I'm going to get rid of it. If, once you want to get rid of things, basically just go to New. And it's going to ask, do you want to save it or discard it? And I'm going to discard it. So here's my workstation. We have our menu bar, our tools, and our um, sidebar. You may or may not see the entire work area, which is the white canvas area, so to speak. So it's not a big deal. I just usually bring my slide bar up all the way, and then this will be my workspace. I'm going to assume your tools will always show up when you open up this paint program, but if it doesn't, this is probably the reason. It's not being selected to be seen. So basically, you go to the menu bar, click View, and you'll see there's no check mark next to Toolbox. Just click it, and there you go to go. Your tools may be along the top or the bottom. I have no idea, but in my case, it comes up on the left. Let's say that you accidentally got rid of the color, colors to choose from. Again, go to View and just click it so you can see it. You also can change colors by going to Color in the menu bar, Edit, and it just gives you all the opportunities to switch it up. So let's say I wanted a color that I don't see over here. So let's just pick something like that. Then you can just slide the bar on the right and it gives you different values. And whenever you find a color you like, you can just add it add to custom colors and OK, and it'll show up down here. Okay. All right, so now I want to just get you familiar with the tools, and I'll try to do this fast. The tools you have an eraser, I hardly ever use it. You've got the paint can, which will be your best friend, and so forth. The first tool that I want us to click on when you're done watching this video, obviously, you're going to pick the line tool, and you're going to choose the width that's the thickest. Later when you're drawing, you can experiment with different um, variety of thickness, and maybe you don't even want to see the line very much, so the thinnest line might be the best option. But in my case, I'm drawing a border. We need the border. Do not neglect drawing the border because this is going to be an image that we have to save. So if you're dumping colors, it's actually going to go all the way down here, and we don't want that. Um, so I'm going to pick the rectangle next. You'll notice that on your shape tools, there's going to be an outline option, an outline with a fill, or just a fill color. I always just pick the outline. Okay. We're going to draw our border now from corner to corner. Oops. I'm glad I did that mistake. So if you make a mistake, you go to edit and undo. 
while we're at that concept of edit undo I think sometimes these uh, free programs don't let you have too many mistakes to make so they might let you back up three to five um, mistakes but after that you're kind of stuck with whatever decision you made. Anyway I'm ready to draw the border I have my rectangle selected drag from corner to corner if you want to change that border like let's say you're like oh I don't want it black you can just go back and switch another color okay but I want it black so I'm going to do undo now we're going to experiment with our lines line now I'll change the color if you want to draw a straight completely um, vertical line shift key keep it down and then drag with your cursor now right now the white was selected so I'm just going to make the pink go back so shift key straight down same thing if you want a horizontal line shift key drag to the right okie dokie the next line that you could experiment with and I do recommend you try at least one of your illustrations using um, free drawn lines is you're going to it'll look straight at first but then once you've drawn the line you can put your cursor on parts of it and just change it up okay. so you can't just drag the line um, you have to actually start with the straight and then bend it up if you want a free draw line you can go to your paint brush pick the width you could do a round tip for your brush a square I'm just going to do round and you can just draw I'm going to undo for a reason I want to draw so maybe one of your works of art you're going to have organic shapes here's an organic shape okay you can experiment with spray paint. Okay, that'll give you some texture. You can experiment with circles. So again, if you want the perfect circle, you have to make sure that you have the shift key selected, click and drag, click and drag. And I like the rule of three, at least in some elements, you don't have to make everything three but I, when I'm looking at your artwork, I do want to see that you've tried to incorporate some um, design theory. If you just want to draw, obviously, a perfect square, you have to do the shift key again. Okay. Rectangles, you just redraw or you know, drag. Okay. Polygon. This one you can free draw yourself. Um, these are some ugly color decisions so basically you just start off with one line and then off that and then off that okay so there's one let's do another one a different color and I'm gonna make this not join up on purpose okay All right, oops. just automatically does it I really want to make sure you don't right, let's just pretend oh that's a triangle <laughs> all right the next tool is the paint can and this is really slick you're gonna get a lot done fast now you just dump color wherever you want I really think this is ugly please don't make something this bad okay so let's pretend that this was the, the triangle that I wanted to fill, but because there's an open gap, it's going to fill everything. So that's not necessarily what I wanted to do. Okay, so we go back. So again, if, if you accidentally dump color and it goes everywhere, you have an open gap somewhere. You need closed shapes to fill in with the paint can. Anyway, that was pretty much all the tools so um, now I'm going to just pick one more color and do the background. Okay, let's pretend we love that. Time to save our work. Go to Save As. So you're going to go to File, Save As. 
and in my case the download these are downloads you're going to open it up okay and you go to save as and then you can put it somewhere so right now I have my stuff going on the desktop so I'm going to make sure it's on desktop okay then I'm going to pick the folder I want you can save your stuff to a folder or not nah, it's up to you I'm going to call it ugly and there I have it okay you may want to just crop right away which I think that's a smart decision so you can just get rid of this white gap right away I think it's just a lot easier you can also play around with some adjustments if you wanted you can change it up whatever now I'm going to save it as copy and I'm going to call it ugly crop so you can either crop your art in your worksheets for slides or you can do it as you're saving your work Now I'm ready to put my assignment together. Okay. You can go to insert, image, upload from the computer. So wherever you have it saved, everyone might do it a little bit different. And I'm going to pick one. Now you can see if you crop it right away before you save it, you're not going to see all this white stuff. If you don't, you'll have to crop it in Google. So I'm going to open the file. And up here in your menu or your tools, you'll see the crop. It's just two little um, X's, it looks like. You just crop up to what you want. Click off of it. And now you can start placing it in those rectangles. Click and drag it. Now, it may not fit the triangle or the rectangle perfectly. That's fine. You can make it shorter if you want, if you don't want to ruin the integrity of your drawing. However, so if you have perfect circles, you're not going to be able to make it stretch perfectly. So it's okay to leave some white around your illustration. If you do not care that some of these get oblong, you can fill the whole thing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to um, insert the rest really fast. I'm going to go to now let's say that you don't know where to find it maybe it's in downloads so you can just go to download okay and uh, so that might be um, an, a problem solver if you're stuck go to image again upload I'm gonna find my other ones really quick so ugly crop. okay now look at this I didn't I cropped off the black so I'm like well I might as well just crop it all out now okay it's no big deal And I don't care about this one, so I'm just going to totally distort it. So I'm going to just drag it to size. So there's two of them. For time reasons, I'm not going to do the third. Again, when you're done with your illustrations, you uh, do a, a quick little critique. Type whatever you want in there, and then um, you're done. All right. That was a very long demo. There was a lot of information. The sky is the limit when you're working on these, okay? Uh, so again, have fun, and they're due um, at the end of the day on Friday. All right, have a good one.